Um, I'm Isabel, and I am from the upcoming in London. So it's lovely to speak to you guys today. Likewise. Um, and congratulations on this fantastic series. Thank you. Um, so perhaps we could start by you telling us a little bit about what the story is all about. What can viewers expect when they watch Everything is Fine to Fabian? Everything is fine, even if nothing is fine. Yeah. <laughs> They can expect an extremely well-written story. Um, it's about uh, a child who has an extremely uh, scary uh, sickness, uh, leukemia, you say in English? And, um, and that how it impacts every member of the family in different ways. But there is no pathos, there is no mellow, it's very original, there's a lot of humour uh, in places you wouldn't expect them. It's very well acted uh, and... Um, human. And, and it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's profoundly human. It's, it's, <laughs> it's very moving but, but on a very original way. Like, not the way you would expect such a tragedy to be treated. Can you tell me about both of your roles and what kind of attracted you to the script in the first place? What made you want to take on these roles? Alors, uh, me, it will be short because uh, um, when I read the script, it was um, incredible because uh, we have uh, not the chance, uh, the, the chance has often to play uh, a character so so deep emotionally, mm -hmm. uh, who, uh, comment tu dis, qui, qui se confronte um, au drame le pire pour une maman. Get, uh, confronted to a very, very uh, tragic matter in life. And uh, the theme of uh, le thème, le theme of the family, uh, uh, the, the, the sickness of the child, it's a subject very important, interesting for me. Um, because we can um, we can uh, explore all the force and uh, fight all the forces and um, vulnerability and vulnerability of the human and with the fusional that there is uh, a lot in the families and uh, melee uh, mixed mixed to the conflict if there is a big tragedy in the center uh, all is uh, all is all moved every all moved it challenges all the established uh, position and situations in life and and positions in the, in the family and everyone is confronted to his own solitude and the relationships between each other within each other uh, get challenged and uh, and and this, this series explore those challenges Parce those changes c'est une douleur qui atteint profondément because uh, that's the pain that notre notre moi personnel that moves everyone in a very deep way and i think that each people who live that even the couple even the parents who have a child a sick i heard that it was impossible for even if there is love even if there is the two souls who are in symbiosis uh, it's it's uh, impossible to live the same uh, in the same way, this deep um, uh, tragedy. It's, uh, it's very different for each other, of, of for, for each one of them. Even, even if you're a couple as a parent, uh, when you go through such a tragedy or such a fear that your child could die at any time, even though your parents, sometimes it divides them or, it may, or, or, or they live through the fear in a very different way, which isolate them from each yeah. other. Then it's like uh, different solitude, different people who who love them. They want to live. They want to to approve. Uh, to, to feel. To feel uh, the things and to help each other uh, and to live the, the the tragedy together to help each other. But it's impossible because it's like uh, the life. All the life who are in parallel. Come on to the. Uh, 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 Everybody is in levitation. Like every member of a family, even though they're going through one similar tragedy, every each one of them has a very different way to to go through such a uh, challenge and such a pain. And and this is very well studied in this series from our writer Camille de Castelnau. 
And to answer from my point of view, what uh, attracted me to this project is what Sarah just said. The talent of the writer, Camille de Castelno, she's brilliant. To me, it's kind of Chekhov, but modern, really. And, and the way she, her approach of uh, psychology, of uh, human relationship, of the complexities, of the dualities, the contradictions of each one of them, uh, is really, really brilliant. And that, that was very, very attractive. And on a more personal uh, aspect regarding my character, well, there's a few characters that when they come to you in your life as an actor, maybe for a boy, you could say one time a boxer, a gangster, <laughs> a cop, maybe a cowboy, whatever. But whenever comes a clown, this doesn't happen <laughs> very often and even more rarely in such a well-written project. So for me, it was like, a clown, wow, finally. <laughs> and and uh, it's also f f f scary, yeah? because you don't want to mess it up. Uh, it's very easy to fall into caricature, but what a challenge, what a challenge. Well, the, and obviously for you, Sarah, um, you, your character is very, uh, it's very interesting because you're a mother to Rose, and there's, you know, obviously that's, there's a lot of grief and sadness and everything there, but you really show an escape from a situation. You want to go and escape to smoke. You want to escape with, with you, your character, you know, um, and you want to kind of, you know, if when you return home, there's this feeling of desperation to want to escape, but you can't. Um, and I think it's quite refreshing to see that kind of side of a mother's kind of grief, because we don't really see that. We normally would see you just focused on Rose, but we see you as a person too. So that feels really unique to the story, doesn't it? It's for that that I love this character because there is a world, the world, the world inside her, and uh, a world that we don't, we can't enter, but we can see what she live, and um, and this kind of character that. They can, they, they can, in the tragedy, they save, she save herself and consciously uh, she start to be, to be, to be uh, to Marion. There is uh, the first one who is live this tragedy and with her, tom with her character, she tried to positive and she tried to, to keep a serenity. Uh, the most time she can because she is in a family. Everything is explosive. Then I think it's a girl who arrive after. And when you have a mother and a, and a sister explosive, I think you you learn since you start uh, childness, childhood. that childhood that to be to be to expect, <laughs> to observe, to to reflect dif differently that what you see, uh, and uh, it's the first part of Marion and her force for me, and after. The second Marion who... Another who side giving, of her that's going to get... She discovers along the way. The tragedy give, uh, give birth to another Marion mm. <laughs> who is in... Um, in um, who needs oxygen. She needs that the life continues because she will... You know, she falls. Otherwise... And um, it's like in Alabama Monroe. I don't know if you see the film. It's this kind of uh, character that... Uh, me, if I am a mother who my who I see my child, she can. It's, she like, also, it's, a it's part also another movie where the mother need, is facing death with her child. She need to 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 choose. It's urgently to choose her inconscient need to choose the depressed and the death, because she has no force. We are not uh, we are not uh, invincible. Or she need to choose the life, and this uh, she need. She, she, a part of her uh, tr uh, tried to choose this this uh, good way to just pour tenir, yeah. pour tenir for, to stay for alive, her to, to, daughter. To, to survive the tragedy. For her daughter and uh, and for her and for the family, but this part of her needs to be secret because if it's if it start to touch. Uh, the real Marion, with the real tragedy, with the real uh, uh, douleur, pain, pain. Uh, it's uh, it will fall with her.